I'm about to open up a brand new M1 MacBook Pro. 16 inch, I don't know what the specs are on it, but one of my longtime customers is upgrading all of their employees, so their entire operation to the M1s. And they have purchased a lot of computers from us over the years, many. <laughs> and uh, bless his heart, he entrusts me still. Let's, uh, let's take a little gander at it. So this is a 16 inch. Man, this thing is not, <laughs> this thing's not light. <laughs> this thing is heavy. There's, there's some serious weight to that. <laughs> All right, let's let's take a little gander here. Uh, ten core CPU, ten sixteen core GPU, sixteen gigs of RAM, and two terabyte drive. I don't know which chip it has. It's the SG. Well, let's uh, open this bad boy up. He's letting me open this thing up. I'm opening it. Ah, it's kind of exciting. We haven't opened up a brand new Mac yet. Got Mac for a while, so this is this is kind of exciting. Man, that is a seriously thick and heavy box. I haven't had a new MacBook Pro since late 2016. I used to upgrade every bloody year. Got a nice, uh, almost a wax paper finish. I wish I had my MacBook Pro here. This thing seems a lot thicker than the older generation. Now that's cool. You've got MacBook Pro beveled right into the bottom of the casing, which has never been done before. Got some really nice big pads on the bottom. I don't know if it's thinner or not. I'm gonna stack it up against the 2015 MacBook Pro and see how it is um, edge to edge wise. Isn't that nice? It is so refreshing to see the Mac safe again. I don't know why Apple ever thought it was a good idea to get rid of it. We'll never know. But man, that's fantastic to see. And then obviously USB-C, a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And then... On the other side, we got an SD card slot, another USB-C, and then a very much missed HDMI port. Yeah, that's, it does seem thicker though. It really does, but we'll see here in a second. There is the new MacBook Pro 16 inch with M1. I'm gonna stack it up against the old it's a little taller. Yes, indeed. It does sit a little bit taller. And I dare say, if I had my late 2016 with touch bar here, it was even lower, thinner than this one. So there's a late 2015. And... Uh, the chime. I remember when Apple got rid of that for a while. It's actually a little bit smaller. Oh, that screen is gorgeous. Oh, man. That's absolutely beautiful. Holy crap, that's absolutely fantastic. Gosh, that's amazing. Oh, man, that's beautiful. You know, the, the notch isn't killing me. I just feel like I'm looking at an Apple product. It's not really bothering me. Just like when I look at this, I'm like, yeah, I'm looking at an Apple product, right? I look at this, and I'm like, I'm looking at an Apple product. Um, let's open this guy. See, and Apple's done so many strange things over the years. Like, older MacBook Pros would actually say MacBook Pro at the bottom, right across here. There's not a whole lot of frame here. Th this is nice. This is really nice. I'm really digging this. 
It looks like it comes with, uh, what's the latest one called? <laughs> Not Maverick. use English as the main language. Press the return key. Gosh, what's it called? Not Maverick. I, can't, I just barely installed it on my Mac, Mac Mini M1. I love the black around the keyboard too. That's really nice. I'm really, really digging that. God, that screen is just almost too much. Okay, it's definitely thinner. The actual display assembly is thinner. The old ones are thinner at the edge, but then they get thicker as they go towards the middle. Beveled on the edge. This is a little more iPad Pro-like and iPhone 12, iPhone 13-like. Um, it is. It does sit a little taller, though. And I wonder if that's because of the feet. Maybe to allow it for better cooling. So now we've got to do some migration. Um, but I need to... I know, don't you love that I still call my SSID airport? Even though it's not an airport anymore. It's an alien. <laughs> I've got COVID right now. Isn't that, isn't that insane? I actually have COVID right now. Yep, I've had it for a week. i got to hurry and put my password in. And let me tell you, COVID is something else. My heart goes out to all those people that have lost loved ones. Because it just doesn't care, and it affects everybody differently. That's the other crazy thing about it. It affects everyone so differently. My wife just kicked her to the ground. All right, migration assistant. So I'm going to go grab a lightning. Do I have lightning? Yeah. Nope. I'm going to have to go U.S. Uh, lightning. What is it? Lightning 2.0 to... USB-C. I think that I've got some adapters for that. Oh, one other thing I didn't really touch on yet, though. That's nice. I like that they made it bigger. Um, in the first generation of the MacBook Pro, uh, late 2016 with Touch Bar that had the Touch ID, it was so small, it was square, and it fit right on the edge of the Touch Bar, and it was almost the, like half the size of that power button. And sometimes if you didn't just get your finger on there just right, it wouldn't recognize it. And mine even stopped working. Uh, my late 2016, it doesn't work anymore. So, which isn't a huge deal breaker for me. Whatever. I actually don't even use it on my home anymore. I use my Mac, my Mac Mini with an M1 chip and the old MacBook Pros over at the Land Rover shop. So we're going to start doing data transfer on this. And I'm going to tell you, this thing's beautiful. I can't wait to own one of these. Oh, I wish I would have waited and not buy my Mac Mini. But I wanted to test the waters, and the waters have been good. God, this thing is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Absolute. Don't mind my dirty table. This is a, this is a workbench. Got thermal paste on it. Well... Here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. God, that thing is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And no, this isn't driving me nuts. Nope, I don't mind it. I don't know why Apple couldn't have buried something up, you know, somewhere. I don't know why they made it so big. I'm sure there's an ambient light sensor in there. Yeah. Ambient light sensor is going to be on this side. Maybe. See that? Once I put my finger over it. That's another little thing that Apple's done for I don't know how many years. Is even their older iMacs had an ambient light sensor. So if somebody walks into a room and flips a light on, the screen adjusts, they flip the light off, the screen gets a little 
less bright, so it's a little bit easier on your eyes. It's the little things. And then Apple starts being stupid and gets rid of MagSafe. I wonder how many MacBook Pros have landed on the ground. All right. Finally found the cable. So, our only option is to use Thunderbolt. So how am I going to get from that over to yonder on the USB-C over here? Well, I'm going to show you. First of all, I've got myself a lightning to lightning. I'm going to plug this bad boy in. It's one of the lightning ports. Then, I got myself a lightning to an Apple adapter. And it's going to go lightning to USB-C. I'm going to plug that bad boy in there. Then, I'm going to boot this bad boy up in target disk mode by holding down the T key. There we are. So I hold down a T, we get target disk mode, and then I'm gonna come back over here, and hopefully in a little bit, the drive will show up. There we are. Now, I'm gonna touch that, hit continue. It's always best to uh, plug a charger in, so I will be plugging a charger in. To both these machines. The next step is to click continue if everything looks good as far as the users that you plan to migrate over. And I don't know what the password is. I'm gonna set it. Yeah, there we go. I got the password. So we're gonna do <laughs> okay. So you'll have to set the password. That's pretty normal on any of the versions of Mac OS. If you're trying to do a data transfer or data migration, you have to basically set a new password for the users, which is fine. Then we just wait. So this is why you wanna hook up the charger. So we are going to hook up the new MagSafe. Lovely braided cable, which is absolutely wonderful. I've heard a lot of complaints. Um, actually, as recent as uh, an hour ago, people complaining that this doesn't match this. <laughs> that this doesn't match this. I don't know. Some people are funny. I... I don't know that I've ever seen, I guess the new IMAX, the charge cable matches the back. So if you've got a purple one, you've got a purple braided cable, whatever. I don't know. It's a charger. Who cares? Some people have too much time in their hands. To There's our USB-C that plugs into the charger. Ah, look at that beautiful thing. If that doesn't bring a smile to your face. See? Apple, why did you get rid of it? You can look at it and know that it's charging. There's no, there's no question. I know they added the sound. Just like on the iPhone, they added the sound, but it's so nice if you're you know, looking across the room, whatever, and you see that light. It just gets you right in the feel goods.